My name is Claire and this is a DVD on what to expect when you take your beetle home. Well the answer to that is anything. The quickest way for a dog to get used to you is to ignore him. Sounds a bit strange but just imagine if you were walking down the street and somebody came up to you and flung your arms around you, you'd go whoa, a bit strange and back off. And it would take you a while for you then to get used to that person. It's the same thing with a dog really. Just tend to his basic needs, feeding, toileting, walking. If he comes up to you for a stroke, yeah, of course give him a stroke, but don't go overboard. This is not the time to have the whole family round for everybody to see him. He needs to get used to you. He has to build a bond with you first and you get to know his body language and he gets to know your body language. He has to be able to trust you. If you've got two dogs and you go and meet the other dog, you have to think about taking them home. Ideally, you don't want them, two dogs, in the back of the car together. So just think about taking them home. One can sit in the back seat on a harness, the other can be in the boot, because you don't want them to have a spat while you're in the car. So just think about having, you know, taking your dog home. If you have a resident dog, do not feed them together. Always feed them in separate rooms until you are 100% certain that they're not going to squabble. This may never happen. Are you prepared for this? Do remember, it only takes a few seconds for the dog to eat his food. All introductions should be calm ones. A walk round the block. They don't have to be close, they can just walk side by side, but they are giving off communication to each other, but we are not aware of those signals. Don't put them under pressure to be best buddies straight away. Once being on a walk, go through the back gate, let them off the lead, open up your back door, go and sit down and have a cup of tea. Just let them get on with it to find their own way around. Warn your neighbours, <laughs> always a good one, because everybody kind of knows that beetles are going to howl, so just warn them that it could be a disruptive few nights. If you have a resident beetle, it is perfectly normal behaviour for them to hump. I think humans can get more stressed than the dogs. Try not to interfere and leave them to sort it out. Unfortunately, it is only time which stops this. If you do have to interfere, if it's getting a bit too much for them, try and do distractions in treats, you know, hide the treats in the garden or play ball with them just to sort of relieve the pressure a bit. It could take a few days, it could take weeks, so just be prepared for it. With the resident dog, there may be a spat between them. If it looks as though it's getting out of hand, shout loudly, bang some pans together, short, sharp, or else they will think you are joining in. Have several comfy beds around and water bowls, especially if there's two dogs. Again, if you've got a resident dog and he has his toys, remove those toys just for a couple of days. Get some new toys and just introduce them slowly. Don't necessarily have to give them the toys, just place them around the house and so they can find them themselves. Place the beds in a secure, safe place. Have you considered a crate? Most beetles love a crate, especially if it has a blanket on top. I would not recommend giving any bones or chews that's going to last any longer than a few minutes, even if it's just one dog or two dogs or three dogs. This way then, you are not going to set yourself up in a situation that you may have to take the bone off them. They may take it onto the sofa. It's avoiding confrontation. If your beadle is somewhere that you don't want him to be, a sofa or a kitchen table, for example, instead of shouting at him or pulling him off, just go and get a treat throw it on the floor and he will jump down and he thinks it's his idea to jump down. Bribery definitely has its place when dealing with beetles. I kind of call it common sense. If they steal food, let him eat it. They may counter surf, worse still, they may jump on the work surface. Also, if they steal something, a beetle's favourite pastime. Do not back them into a corner or you will get bitten. Once the beetle realises you want the object, he wants it even more. Again, use the bribery technique. Better still, teach them the lead command. If you have children at whatever age, it's paramount that you supervise at all times. It is your responsibility to keep them safe. 
Children cannot read body language and children should be told to give him space and not attempt to cuddle and kiss them. Even if the dog has known children in the past home, your children are different. They have different body language, they have different voices and so they have to get used to them. Children must remain calm, difficult I know. If you have a cat that already lives with you, the cat must always be given an escape route to an upper level. Even if the dog has known to be good with cats, your cat is different. The cat may run, which is great fun to a beetle. Teaching your beetle to be away from you must start from day one. You cannot be with the dog 24-7 the first week and then go back to work and expect him to understand where you have gone. It's small things like going upstairs, going to the toilet without them, shutting the door. Once you shut the door, they have to learn the coping mechanism of you shutting the door and then you come back through the door and so they sort of learn how to be on their own. It's just sort of small steps. Don't be hasty in bathing your beetle. It is a very intrusive thing to do in the first few days to bath them because you have to towel dry them, which can be quite traumatic for them. He's getting enough trauma of being in his new home as it is. A beetle needs a parent figure, not a dominant overbearing bossy leader, but a gentle that possesses qualities that make the beetle trust and feel safe. Beetles may be hardy little hounds, but they are sensitive. They thrive on routine and consistency. It's no good one family member letting them on the furniture and the other one saying no. Plus, when you're training them, you have to be very canny. You have to be three steps ahead of them, or else otherwise they don't like it when they know you're training them. We try to find out as much as we can about the beetle from the previous owner and if they've been in kennels or a foster home we try and get a better understanding of them. However, things will crop up that we don't know about. You may have to get behavioural advice that could require a modification programme. Contact Beetle Welfare, we have a behaviourist on board who can give telephone advice and if need be point you in the direction of a reputable trainer or behaviourist if it requires a home visit. It's always good to ask and writing down is a good way to remember as once you see your potential new forever best friend, all those questions go out of the window. If you follow these simple guidelines, hopefully things will run smoothly. Enjoy your new friend who will reward you with hours of fun, loyalty and undying affection. Please remember that there are no bad beetles, only bad owners. 